Only on two, a little boy riding his scooter when a school bus rounded the corner and hit him. The three year old from far northwest suburban Cary died. Now his family is suing, saying they're afraid this will happen again. CBS 2's Lauren Victory takes a look at their fears and hefty accusations against the driver. Well, Joe and Erica, there's no question this little boy was playing in the street, but his family says that's how life is in rural Cary. The three year old boy's mother spoke with only us today and detailed why she felt it was necessary to file a lawsuit to change bus driver behavior in the area. He was the light of our lives. Rachel Huddleston describes her son Samuel as bright and funny. And we would go on walks and he would wave to every single neighbor and say, hi, I'm Sam. The three year old was playing on a scooter like this one afternoon in May when he was tragically struck and killed by a bus. And if it happened while well, I'm right there watching my son, then it could happen. It could happen to any child trying to ride their bike in a tiny neighborhood. A fear that the Huddlestons are taking to court. In this wrongful death lawsuit, the family accuses the bus driver of not keeping a proper and sufficient lookout. She failed to decrease speed and failed to remain in her proper lane of travel. The accident happened at this intersection of Hill and Cherry Streets in Cary. Attorneys for the Huddlestons provided these photos from the scene. They say the bus initially bumped Samuel off his scooter, then ran over him. She had more than ample room to stop the vehicle after the first impact. Lawyers say they wanted to view footage from this surveillance system inside the bus. The video from the afternoon, which would have showed the interior of the bus and the actions of the driver, was not available. Were the cameras not working? Lawyers question if the video was deleted intentionally. We asked the bus operators transportation joint agreement whose Crystal Lake Depot is seen here from Chopper 2. No comment, we were told. And then that first week of school, the drivers were still flying through that corner. The Huddlestons say they're forced to fight for change in Samuel's name. We don't have sidewalks. So no cars usually fly through here and buses of all should not fly through. It took me a long time to get a lawyer because I just assumed that there would have been extra training for the drivers afterwards. Service operator would not answer any of our questions, including if any additional training happened after the accident or if that driver is still busing kids. Reporting in the control room, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Lauren, thank you.